I think Men's Link is a, is a wonderful uh, charity for helping young men get through those, those years which they could either go one way or the other. And, and Martin and his team is wonderful at, at helping, guiding and mentoring those people. So, Martin Fisk. Thanks, Tim. Um, this is my brave, but it shouldn't be. I remember three or four years ago, I was interviewed for Mental Health Week on the ABC radio. And I told my story as a young man, teenager, some 30 or more years ago now, um, getting a bit of grey hair. And I spoke about a spiral into loneliness, depression, using alcohol and drugs to self-medicate those feelings of despair and eventually building up a toxic combination of depression and anxiety and spiralling more and more out of control so that one morning I woke up when I think I was around 18 and I was so scared I couldn't leave my room but to this day, I can't tell you why I was scared. And I told that story on the ABC and I, I told of subsequently being diagnosed with bipolar disease, of spending six months in a mental hospital, which saved my life. And I remember Genevieve Jacobs at the end of the interview saying, wow, that was so brave. And I was on, on there with, with another young woman telling a very similar story. And she said, that's so brave that you could say that. And I said to her, well, you know what? I, I also spent six months in hospital recovering from a, a, a mucked up appendix operation. And I've got to tell you, that was harder. It was more painful. Nobody knew what was wrong. I had a million really difficult tests and I nearly died and I had massive surgery and ended up in, in intensive care as, as a 13-year-old as a kid. But nobody says that's brave that I tell that story. A bit like what Frank was saying when he was talking about the weightlifting and Tim was saying about the running. Nobody says, oh, that's brave, you've, you've, you've had a physical injury and you've told someone about it but we do say we're brave to talk about a mental illness and I'm not sure that we should. I must say with the benefit of uh, some 30 years since those dark times that the mental illness has given me a bunch of benefits and not only would I not be here tonight without those benefits and without having that mental illness, but actually my life wouldn't be as good as it is now. Mental illness has enabled me in those dark times to have incredible empathy for other people, which is a wonderful gift. In those times by yourself, because as one of our other speakers said, your friends kind of desert you, it's given me insight into myself Again, a wonderful gift. And when you talk to people who have suffered and come through a mental illness, you'll see that they also have an incredible insight that those who haven't been through tough times might not have had that gift. One side of the bipolar has given me incredible energy, which has mean I'd led a reasonable, successful career in, in a number of different sectors, culminating in this fabulous job I've got at Men's Link. And I truly believe mental illness has given me a creative edge that I might not have had if I'd just sailed through life on an even keel. So I think talking about mental illness is not necessarily being brave, although it might seem that way in the beginning but actually showing some of the amazing things that people with mental illness can bring to our community, the same as people with disabilities can bring to our community, is amazing. But mental health 
and mental illness in particular, I should say, can be deadly. It is very difficult, if not impossible, to get through a mental illness episode without help. And time and time again, I see young men and older men and some young women as well bottle up all their feelings, pretend everything's okay and pretend they can get through life and struggles and depression and anxiety and tough times by just putting on a mask. And it doesn't work. If you don't get help or help others, you can't get through those tough times. And I think for those of us who are, um, have levels of anxiety or depression or other issues in our life, it's incumbent on us to put up our hand and ask for help. And it is brave, actually, to ask for help. It's difficult. But once you do it, it's fantastic. For those of you who live with, work with, go to school or university with, or are just friends with somebody that you can see going through a tough time, just go up to them and say, how are you going? You look like you're having a tough time. Would you like to have a talk about it? Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, mental illness is not a life sentence, and it certainly shouldn't be a death sentence either. Thank you very much.